Hey, it's Phoebe and today I'm in Sapporo. All right, so we only have two days left in Japan and we have saved the best for last because I found the most amazing Airbnb along the coastline of Hokkaido and I've organized it in secret. So we're gonna surprise James with that later today. He has no idea what's coming and honestly, I really need to slow down the pace because I am exhausted. We have done so much on this Japan trip. So today we're starting off with one of the most iconic things to do in Sapporo, a visit to the Sapporo Beer Museum. Now this is Japan's only beer museum and it's dedicated to the oldest brand of beer in Japan. Let's go. Hi. <laughs> So, it is free to get into the beer museum and you can do a free tour as well. They have a paid premium tour if you want to do that. You can find information on prices and timings all on their website. Um, after you've done the free tour, come downstairs to the ground floor, floor one, and here you can do a tasting. Um, you're going to need some cash. There's a vending machine, very Japanese. You put your cash in, you select what you want. You take your ticket over to the counter and they give it to you. Um, we are doing a tasting with three beers. They are. Black Label, Classic, Katakushi Beer. Next stop is at the Nijo Market. So Hokkaido is famous for amazing seafood. It's extremely fresh, high quality. So I feel like you have to come somewhere like this to kind of walk around, see lots of stuff maybe you haven't seen before and try some new things. Now, as I understand it, one of the popular things to try or one of the famous things to try here, it's like a bowl of perfect rice with all the fresh sashimi and seafood on top of it. So we're gonna see if we can try some of that, find a store that looks good and hopefully try a few other things as well. But this is a really cool spot to come, so make sure you put it on your list. We've come to a little place in the Nijo Market. I'll show you the outside of it so you can find it. I'm not sure of the name, but it looks amazing. Um, and they are famous for their kaisendon. So kaisendon is fresh seafood on rice. It comes out with a little set. Um, because we're going to be eating so much, we're just going to start sharing stuff, yep. which I think is a really good approach. And they were totally cool with the sharing. So let's, let's try it. Let's try it. <laughs> There's a divider here. So if the filming is a bit weird. It's because we That's really good. Yeah. The crab is phenomenal. Good, right? Yep. Oh my god. Okay, let's try the miso. Yep. I'm gonna do it, guys, and none. The miso is good too. All good. Delicious. To get around Sapporo, we've hired a private driver for the next two days, but I would have preferred to hire a car so we could explore further away. Just make sure you have an international license or you won't be able to hire one, as I found out. Oh, and be sure to get a local SIM card so you can navigate and communicate easily. I got mine from Sims Direct. There's a link below for you. Okay, so James has no idea where we're going and I cannot believe I've actually managed to keep this Airbnb a secret for this many weeks and we are finally about to see it. Now to make sure he doesn't peek, we've put the neck pillow over his face and honestly I'm super nervous and I'm really excited too because I've only seen this place online and I love planning surprises. I cannot wait to see it. Okay, oh my gosh, okay, we're nearly there. 
I have absolutely no idea what's happening. <laughs> but we had to untie some rope. I don't know what that was. And now we're driving up. So I feel like we're like in a country house or something. I have no idea what it is. But I can't see. It's kind of like blocking my vision. And we're here. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Should we just leave everything in the car? Okay. And take you in. <laughs> take us away. Here we go. We're gonna is take this? our shoes off. Oh yeah. Oh, this is like the start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're, in, we're in somebody's house. Oh my god. <laughs> so there's some instructions. It smells really nice. I'll put them outside. Alright? Yeah. Okay. Here. <laughs> I can hit the <laughs> Alright, you can you can unblind yourself. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, look at that! This is cool! <laughs> yeah, this is cool. Wow. This is amazing. We have such a nice ocean view. Look at that. Wow. Right up on the thing. This is gonna be cool for the drone. We can do like some nice this is why. It's this drone. You love the drone. Wow, and that is gonna be oh such Ah, oh, this is so great. Wow. This is Cliff House Marae, and it's located in Ishikari, around an hour's drive from Sapporo. And it is unlike anything else I have ever experienced. This place is magical. And I'm so glad we made the effort to get off the beaten track and come somewhere unique in Japan. The house is perched along the most spectacular stretch of Hokkaido coastline, about 160 meters above the shore, offering uninterrupted views of the Sea of Japan. In all the times I have visited Japan, I have never seen anything like this or experienced this side of it. I just didn't know this existed. There are two bedrooms with two beds each and they can add an additional two futons in the living room if you need them. So you could have six people here. The kitchen is fully equipped with everything you need for cooking and eating. There is a washing machine, a huge dining table, an additional table and chairs you can set up on the massive balcony outside and the bathroom. The bathroom has a shower and this amazing onsen and a sauna. This place. This place is something else. It has far exceeded all my expectations and I already am wishing we had more than two nights here. Now you can book this place on a variety of holiday rental platforms including Airbnb and I'll have some links for you in the video description below. We just had the best. How do I say this? We just witnessed the most incredible sunset. And the only way we were able to describe it is it looked like a sunset on the movie June. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever seen that movie, the sunset that we just witnessed there looked like something from another planet, basically. Yeah. It was insane. I've always heard people said they've witnessed a the sunset for a bit. Over the top, <laughs> but I feel like I genuinely just like saw something incredible. It was, <laughs> it's very difficult to describe. The, the mm. sun was just the perfect like, orange ball in the sky, no flares, no nothing, just like this golden or I don't know, it's very difficult to describe. Yeah. Kind of had to be here <laughs> to, to witness. You're kind of gonna have to come here, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. this spot. Um, well done for finding this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> After such a busy trip in the cities, in Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, just all running about, just with the chaos, this is just like the perfect calm place to be. Mm -hmm. It's got an onsen, it's got a sauna. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's good. You can come here and never leave. <laughs> yeah, this is, the, this is our new life. <laughs> we live here now. We live here now. <laughs> so There's cool. a hot pizza shop up the road, so mm. we, we may actually live here. So we're just going to enjoy the sunset, it's just gone down, and then just take it easy. We actually bought some food from the supermarket. Mm. I'm going to have a cheeseburger. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. I've been eating, none of the sun's crazy, Did but I'm... give them context on why we're eating cheeseburgers in Japan? Well, the reason is, I don't know, obviously the food here is incredible. Incredible. But when you eat it every day, fish, sushi, sashimi, uni, you know... Gets yeah, yeah, it does. That's a good way to put it. That's the only way to describe it. It's no yeah. shade on Japanese food. Yeah. I live for it, but your tummy gets homesick. 
So we decided we'd get some like home comfort food. I went for bacon and cheeseburger. Phoebe's going for pizza. A family size. A family size pizza. <laughs> Airbnb is amazing. The problem you'll have if you stay there is you'll just get really absorbed into it and you won't do anything else, which includes making a YouTube video. Just such a nice slow pace, such a good start, but we're, we're up, we're out. <laughs> We've left the accommodation and we're in the car again, headed back into Sapporo. Now it's gonna be about an hour drive from the accommodation to get there, but it's gonna be worth it because we are having a really, 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 really special lunch. Evergreens are the only trees I see. See. 88 palms on my front lawn. Woke up at the crack of dawn. Thought I heard a dog, but the bark came from off the charts. Had to check the logs. Seeing stocks shooting to the top and hearing paper talk. Said a lot without saying much. Kept it on the hush. Underground like a seed rooted to a money tree. Money never leave. Evergreen foliage. The dreams flourished. Introduced me to his florist. I moved this forest. Views are gorgeous with the oceans at your doorsteps. Posted on the porch with plants in my porcelain. The stance I've been growing. This meal. This meal. <laughs> Is spectacular and it's a Michelin star restaurant and we're about to eat Michelin star sushi which is just a wild concept the guy is making it in front of us and rolling it probably the best piece of sushi I've ever eaten everything about that everything about that is perfect it's fantastic the breeze blow, uh oh. I got my palms, drink is what my palms said. Evergreen trees grew from evergreen monsters. So I'm certain, I watch and observe it. Thought scratch the surface, I carved them in birches. Pen made of rosewood, wheels made of walnut. 900 broad bus, I stare with my palms up. Musical mantras, auditory alchemy. The words in the songs built the views from the balcony. Ordained it had to be. I'm driven by a vision that required all my faculties to fire full capacity. The passion reignited. I'm gradually incited by a voice that's on back of me. We war like Leonidas. You're cordially invited to the inner workings of a great mind. And greatness takes time. I heard that through the grapevine. I sit by age wine every blue moon and built a blue room. The mental architect, the crop served the consequences of the seeds that I planted with intention. I jumped outside the box, I'm never planted in convention. The trees flexing every time the breeze blows. Flex. The breeze blows. I got my palm drink, it's what my palm said. Evergreen trees grew from evergreen mines. The trees flexing every time the breeze blows. I have had the loveliest day. It has been so relaxing, just. Whew, after all the busyness and craziness of big cities to come somewhere a little bit more chilled out <laughs> and relax along the coastline of Hokkaido, which is something I didn't know existed, something I never thought to do, and I'm so glad I did because it is beautiful. And I would highly recommend you come and stay at this place. I just found this spot on Airbnb. It took my breath away. I was like, I have to stay there. It looks so cool. And I've never experienced anything like this, let alone in Japan. So if you're a person who loves something unique, you, you want to do something different, you want to feel like you're doing something most people don't do, 
this is what I would recommend. <laughs> this is the spot and if you can stay for longer but my number one tip to you would be make sure you have a car of some kind I would have loved to have had a higher car so I think next time I'll have my international license and make sure I do that <sighs> and with that that brings this week's episode to a close I really hope you've enjoyed it um, if you don't already be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below I hope you have a great weekend ahead and I will see you with a brand new episode next week love ya